Hey guys, it's Jessica. How's it going? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I clean my whole house. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean my dining room, how I clean my kitchen. I kind of hesitated because I don't feel like showing all of it, but I know this may help someone that doesn't feel like doing it either. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I clean my kitchen, um, the living room, dining room, bathrooms. These aren't going to be deep cleans, guys. I, I do this like every day. So I'm just going to show you how I keep up with the house. I did see my grandma said she saw a roach. So that kind of got me worried. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean my room house while currently being 32 weeks pregnant and with a two-year-old toddler. My daughter's with my grandparents, which is great. I would show you, I usually clean their room, um, but I'm not going to show it for now because they're like, their lights, like they're going to bed. So I'm going to start in the kitchen. Um, I already was kind of working in here. So I'm going to show you guys how I clean my kitchen, just get it ready for the next day, um, and yes, stay tuned. Okay, so this is how the kitchen is looking. I'm going to first clean like all the countertops, dishes, pots, put food away, organize, and then I will clean the floors. And then I will move on to the dining room because it's the less intimidating one right now the living room is too but i feel like the hardest part about vlogging this is like the little things you know like having to clear up these water bottles pick up that little book you know pick up these little plates but that's the easy part so i guess it's not too bad so let's start right here uh, I'm not going to talk because that kind of gets overwhelming, so I'm just going to show you guys what I do. Let's get started. Leftovers, except not the family relative, but this is like a little piece, so we should give it to the cats. 
Okay, and now, you know how I told you guys there was a roach earlier? I think this is the culprit. I'm sure there's other things adding, but I'm going to clean up this area. I'm about to grab a Ziploc bag and put those open cookies in there. Got a couple just in case. And just give that area a good wipe. actually close Okay, I do want to let you guys know that um, as I wipe, I do rinse the rag in between. It would be a lot for me to like show every time I rinse the rag because I rinse it pretty often. So just know that even though you don't see me, like after I do wipe like an area that's like pretty heavily like dirty or with a lot of food, I'll rinse it and then continue. So I might cut it out, but just know that's what I'm doing. So like I already, after I cleaned the top of this, I rinsed this, the rag, and I'm just going to give this a good little, see like this, there's only two in there, why do, I thought there were more in there, see like this area, it's just, just give a good wipe, alright, I'm going to put these here, this is empty, this is empty, that trash out later. Um, these waters I will put here. Empty water. Okay. Oh, these can go there. There. Okay. I'm going to put this in the recycle. Put these here. I'm going to take this out anyways in a second. I'm going to keep this here because I need to give my daughter her vitamins. This is trash. <laughs> Put that in there. Daughter's toy. Put that here. Trash. And then i got to rinse this straw. Okay. Put this back. Put these here. I was using this to help film. This right here for now. I'm gonna need this in a little bit. Okay, I didn't use this extra ziplock. I thought I was. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay, I clean that too. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna wipe over here. I already wiped the other day, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean this chair. It has rice and stuff in it. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that down. And then I'm going to do this dining room table too. 
wipe it down.
Hey guys, so um, I realize I'm running into an air where I do not have enough storage to like videotape me doing the entire house, like showing you like the whole thing. So I'm kind of gonna speed things up, um, show you like little snippets of like what I do. But I don't wanna make this video too long because I don't have storage. But I would show you the entire process, I forgot about that. So I'm gonna finish up the kitchen. Um, and then I'll start on the floors and then continue. Um, I'll try to make it quick. I'm sorry guys. For right now, I'm just gonna finish washing these dishes, put these clean ones away, organize this area a little bit, and then finish wiping the stove, and then I will start on the floors. Um, everything else is good, this area is good. And then I'll have to take out the, well, I'm gonna take out the trash out last, okay. Okay guys, this is my microwave. It's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna take this out, wash it, and then wipe it out, and then put it back. Okay guys, so I know I shouldn't probably be doing this. It wasn't too heavy. I moved this out, and I'm gonna clean back here because, yeah. I usually do it more often, but after I've seen those little roaches, I'm gonna give it a little clean. So I'll show you guys how it looks too. Right now I'm just giving the floor a good wipe. I like to clean, excuse me, I like to clean this way because I feel like I get a better clean versus a mop and then I feel like the mop leaves the floor too wet. Hi guys, so my phone is about to die and um, so I probably won't be able to film the rest. Um, I'm just going to keep it short. I'm just going to show you guys how I clean my kitchen. I'm just going to finish the floors and all that. <sighs> Yeah, I haven't really finished, but I'm in the process of it, guys. I promise I'm going to finish it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cut the vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize. I wish I could have showed you more. Again, my name is Jessica. I am a sober singer, 26-year-old stay-at-home mom entrepreneur. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, I feel so terrible. Let me try to... I'm going to cut it here and then show you how the final product looks so you guys aren't like, what the heck? But for now, bye guys. Love you. Hi guys, so I finally finished the kitchen. I realized that like, no matter what I do, I always like do a deep clean. So whenever I, for future reference, whenever I do a vlog, I'm just gonna focus on like one part of the house because I do a lot. <laughs> so just to show you guys, let me turn on the light. This is how the kitchen is looking. Take this rack. And this rack here. Okay. So this is how it's looking now. I'm not gonna let all this dry, but I'm not gonna dry later, but for now. Okay, that's how it's looking. So what I ended up doing, which I didn't show on camera was, well I did show, I pulled this out and I cleaned behind the oven, the sides of the oven. I also cleaned the microwave. And then I cleaned the floors all around here, around here. I cleaned the laundry room floor. I also cleaned around here under the table, around my dog's food. I changed like the, we had like some towels and stuff that were under the water so it doesn't spill on the floor. So I organized it like this so because it was getting moldy. So I figured this is smarter, so that way no water gets trapped under the bowl. And then we come here, and I had like some boxes of like chips and cookies. 
So what I did was, before I did all that, I took all this out, I cleaned around, I already showed you I cleaned the air fryer, I cleaned behind this little piece, oh, it's a piece of dust. Okay, I cleaned behind this and, um, and I started like stocking, I had like a box of sun chips and I had like a box of like mixed um, cookies, put those there. And I just organized everything. And then I put the breads in here. I put the breads in here because there were chips in here. But because, like, it was always hidden, you forget you have the chips. So because we eat white wheat bread pretty frequently, I figured it's smarter just to put the bread there. Because, you know, people are going to look for it. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what I did. This is how it looks. Pretty clean. Oh, and I also, floor is a little wet, I gotta be careful. I also cleaned, like, back here. Cleaned any, like, food that was there. Um, and I also washed out the trash, like, so if there was, like, any before, before, if there was any food residue. Um, but yeah, I usually do these things, like, once every couple weeks, or whenever I, you know, get to it and have the motivation. And I figured, you know, today was the day. Especially after I seeing two roaches, like, in, like, a week. Not on the same day, but, like, in a week. And I thought it was because it was raining, but I'm like, no. It can't be, like, oh, it just rains and now there's roaches in your house. So, I'm like, let me do a deep clean. And there was, like, a lot of stuff. Like, you guys saw the oven. I didn't get to show you the this part, but there was, like... There was like some like cereal and like, I don't know, there was some stuff under there. And like there were some cereal boxes with like the bag open. So I think that was like the main cause because I've cleaned my, my biological mom's house. And she had like all these boxes of cereal open and, and she had roaches. So after I like deep cleaned her pantry, there were no more roaches. Like I threw out all the old cereals, all the good semi cereals I put, I sealed them up. And she hasn't had a roach issue it roach roach issues roach issues since Lord. So hopefully yeah, I threw away some cereals, I closed up some cereals, um I resealed some chips. Like some of the chip bags were kinda of open. So I think we're good for now. Hopefully I don't see enough and this was like my main area, like I don't really eat in the other rooms. And if I do, it's like cereals, like super something like, I don't know. Sometimes I do eat in my room, but I wasn't too worried about my room because I clean my room pretty frequently because it's my room, obviously. But like spaces like this, I don't really get to clean them every day. But yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. It's literally 12.46. It's 1 in the morning. My baby's still up. I'm going to see if she tries to take a shower. I always have to choose to, so I always have to fight with her to, like, take a shower. Sometimes she comes, like, into the shower with me, but other times I gotta, like, force her. So we'll see. Hopefully if I start taking a shower, she'll join. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this inspired you, motivated you, and, or whatever, if you're just entertained. <laughs> That's great. Um, all right, bye. I love you guys.